this up in here. You guys do know you've got to actually take the food to the storage, right? Unless I've got food production. That does not look like... That carnivorous meal does not look like it has a single plant in it to me. So I don't think they're taking it up there, which means animals are eating it. Which is okay. I don't mind that the animals are eating it, but I do need my people to harvest shit. Hey, rowing. Welcome in. Um, if I can just get them to, like, get out here and collect everything that's ready to go. The other thing I do like is that you can now select everything on the map. That is kind of awesome. So it does save me a little bit of time. Legendary work. Uh, as long as you don't set... Yeah, you're going to set in here on fire. All right. Uh, you made rhinoceros leather pants. Cool. So we had this last time and they decided to basically set one of the grow rooms on fire. And I basically had to sit here and like mine the person so that the fires would go out. But I've got like several people in here and most of them should have like firefighting. Like Emmy looks like she might be doing it or are you doing it? Sewing area. Yeah, no, you're, I've got enough people in here. I shouldn't have to worry. I hope you're doing good. I am. I'm doing all right. Um, yeah, it's classic Rimworld. It's, uh, I don't know. I normally like don't tend to get sleep in like the lead up to like playing Rimworld, but our colony this winter has been like on the verge of death, like colony wide death. So I, uh, I've been like a little additionally stressed out for it, you know, but we've now got like all these crops coming up and stuff. So I don't have to stress, but I am expecting one more like major event to maybe happen. I just don't know when or where that's going to happen. And at least with these two, like, following him around, I don't have to worry. Like, there's at least, like, four or so people in here at any given time. So, uh, if he does set much on fire, like, as soon as he does that, who's in the area? I mean, birds on it. Yeah. Okay, I don't have to, I don't have to sit here and monitor him. We had to do that up in this grow room once and they got away with it in here and they set this back row room on fire like all the way at the back and it spread through and like yeah it was it was a huge problem that was on the the playthrough where like everybody basically died because i have a lot of like fire uh what do you call it uh firefighters and shit in my colony and they're kind of like super keen to get in there and put that fire out except that it's like over a thousand degrees or some shit like that i'm like just stay outside so i had to like sit there with like most of my colony at attention like sitting outside trying not to go in and fight the fire but i had like people mentally wandering in and going down and it was interesting it was definitely something where did gat go because he's no longer in hospital let's see move to the other hospital nah he's fine yeah, what are you guys up to tonight, I guess? Because um, pretty much at this point, I've got some of my solar. I made some of my wind farms. I've got most of my crops coming good. I'm going to allow these to go get built. I've got enough steel for that. Yeah, I've got like 3,800. I could probably do some of these on the top side now. I haven't been able to do a lot of my solar stuff. Um, whenever we've got attacked, my my traders come in from this end and they attack each other so they keep destroying my solars which is fucking annoying because you know i need those for turrets i will also build more turrets too eventually and uh, what else we get up to we did have one of the four traders rock up i don't know where the other no actually we had three yeah we had two turn up at the same time we had one colony bring two traders to us and I'm waiting on one more. I don't know where they're at, but I guess they're like running behind maybe. But um, yeah, I'm also like letting my animals breed up too. How are those rats and stuff going? I don't need alpacas. That Megasoft has 50% base chance attack. That's fine. I don't care about that. Gotten food poisoning. All right. What's going on with the food production? Because it's not looking like it's too dirty in here. The crab's on it. The crab's got it cleaned. So I would say, yeah, it's probably this side. I do have animals coming in here to access food. Hold on. We have rice getting stored. Hold up. That's finally happening. How much rice have I got? Where's my 
count off of that. 140 so far. All right. There's, there's a lot to bring in. Between the people and the animals, we should get it all brought in here eventually. I just need my people out here harvesting. And the problem I've got is I think that they're down here still sowing some of the areas. Uh, they might also, they haven't, oh no, wait, they did get down here with the chocolate. Okay, I figured out where my um my crop people have been. They've been down here. I decided to grow chocolate instead of corn, just mostly for the lols. Because I had a lot of chocolate at one point, at like one of my last bases. You'll be right silverware uh either that or it's got 16 hours how's she doing it's 15 all right craig uh crab nina i might need you guys maybe bring your animal if you can come back up here and attack that i'm gonna need her to kind of like run past it not gonna go super well but we'll see I'm not quite sure when the last time I saved was, but it was like a minute a couple of t ago, so I'm not too worried about this. Silverware should survive. Gooby is coming up here too, actually. He'll be right. It's okay. Goobia has a gun, and Silverware runs past crabs on it. Eddie's coming out too. Now you can shoot. I don't know. Shoot. Maybe move out of the way, crab. Crab might die. There you go. Go home, crab. Uh, how's your health? 14 hours. She'll be fine. She'll get somewhere she needs to be. Whoops. Wrong thing. Get out of my face. Nina. New lot. Can you guys go back to what you're doing? Nice. Alright. How are they going with the fire down here? Uh, it looks like he's done having his fire starting spree, so that's nice. And if they start harvesting this, like they should. I haven't set all of it to it. Lou's catatonic. I'm going to have to go find Lou. A lot of this area has just become harvestable, which is great. Like, my animals are feasting, don't get me wrong, they're going nuts out here. I want this to just ignore sowing it for a little while. Actually, I'd love to say, like, ignore sowing all of this, just, like, harvest it for a few minutes. I might actually do that. Uh, no. If I do that, I'll fucking forget. Where's Lou? Tortured artist. Nah, he's fine. Aries got him. Now, I know that Crab could die, potentially. He's got four hours to get to a hospital, and I don't think he was moving fast. There he is. Uh, you're going to rest. You've got three hours. What do you do? You do animals. If he goes down, I might be able to get him to a hospital. But it's questionable. The other thing too is crab, what's your medical situation? Uh crab must have pissed me off a couple of times. It's fine. I guess he will get some kind of medical attention. I kind of want to increase that to increase his odds once he lays down, but I don't actually think I have any like blue or white medicine around the base. So Grim. Good god, man. Look, man. What are you up to? Um my colony is not dying at this point. But then again, we haven't had a major event yet, so it could still happen. Oh, yeah, by the way, Grim, you married a kangaroo. Just letting you know. Um, you and your wife, kangaroo, now have a, a room together. So <laughs> I thought you'd enjoy the humor in that one. Um, yeah, I don't know where you are. But you're around. You're still here. I need to... I think that that's supposed to be... I, that's right, I'm supposed to be cutting through this part here. I want to cut through that, and I want this bit. Co uh, crab should be down now. Yep. Okay, right in the doorway. Eri is tending. If I could get you to rescue Crab. Right. Please just put him in the next... Uh, you could have put him in that bed. Alright, but, 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 but. You have medical abilities, right? Rest until heal. Already tending to crab. Yes, but what if I draft you and said to tend to crab now? Because there's medicine right here. What if I say... Uh, it's, she's still going to run off and grab medicine somewhere else. So where are you getting your medicine from there? Okay, somebody up here has to have a higher level of, like, I don't know, tending... That is something. It is something. Considering as an Aussie, you had all the choices in the world and you still chose to marry a kangaroo. Like, the fucking irony of that, I don't know. 
It's it's amazing. Mind you, you were dating a huntsman for a while. And for anybody that's not Australian, the huntsman is a spider. And Grimm's, like, doesn't like spiders. So that was even funnier for a while. Um, it's just, like, one of those, like, weird things that happened for a short period of time. There you are. There's Grimm. Grimm's just getting a snack. He's having some dinner. Can he do tending? I'm looking for somebody up here specifically with the ability to do medical at like a higher level like i know who's going for it is great everything but i need somebody up here to bring the medicine you like i need you to bring the medicine down to crab because like i don't think she's grabbing that medicine right and crab has two hours this is gonna be this is gonna be on the line so Silverware will be fine. She'll make it probably through this. Um, but Crab is like down to the wire. And the guy that I've asked to come down and work on him should be enough to fix it. But please tell me that that was not what you just did. Tending to Crab. You just stripped Crab. Please tell me that you did not just walk down here to strip Crab. Because Crab's going to die, you fucking wanker. Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna guess that I asked him to strip instead. Um, let's find somebody else, since that's his method of tending to people in a hospital. You have 10 medical. Are you gonna fucking strip them too? Fucking hell. Now Crab's naked, so now he's gonna be pissed off. Poor Silverware is next to a fucking nudist in hospital. All I'm trying to do is tend to Crab. Jesus. Oh crab. Uh, I can't make this shit up. I, I literally can't. Like, I'm pretty sure I said 10 to, but I guess they prioritize stripping them. Like, normally my colonists kind of just go with the whole, I'll feed them and that's tending to them kind of attitude, you know, instead of actually tending to them medically. And that's kind of infuriating because it's always on the case where they really urgently need some kind of medical care and they'll feed them. Like, McPherson just ran through, and McPherson's great at medical. But if if Stanley has to move away and grab one more medical pack, Crab is essentially dead if we don't get him up past, like, an hour. So this will be interesting. Just barely on two hours. If we can get you up to three or more, we can probably get somebody down here with medicine. Let's have a look at Silverware. She's good. It's still in two hours. Somebody needs to rescue. Somebody's down now. Okay, up to three hours. We might be cooking a fire there. What's chimpanzee doing? Food poisoning. That makes sense. Um, we we just got what we could for a while, and any any food was food except for people. So, except for that one person that fed gerbil to everybody. Uh, murderous rage, Zaggle. All right, let's go, Zaggle. You are, I guess, in a really bad position here. I've got like, like 20 odd people that could take you on. Let's stop everybody from using their guns. Shizuka shouldn't have a gun. Mantis and Dan shouldn't have a gun. I shouldn't need to bring them into it, but the rest of you can. Let's give this attentive save. See how this goes. Because I don't know if Crab's going to live through his um, medical stuff. But yeah, we'll try to deal with Sackle. Hopefully nobody will shoot him. Where is he? Crap. How's your health? Six hours. Okay, if they have to get one more medical pack, they'll be fine. They've got six hours to get it, so those should be fine. Okay, there's a couple of these people have got weapons already down. Love it. All right, let's not grab Shizuka. And you guys can go back to what you're doing. No, 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 go back to what she's doing. i got to wait till Shizuka passes by for this. But can I get you to rescue Zaggle? This is actually the second time Zaggle has done this. This is why he's already had one of these, like, removed. He did successfully manage to kill an animal in the colony. And as soon as that happened, he basically just got, like, medical privileges knocked back a little bit. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what happened with him. But, yeah, we should be fine at this point. Between, like, the colony getting, like, a whole heap of food from the crops, if they harvest this, if they harvest it... We will have plenty enough food to feed the colony. Because there is a lot of crops ready to go. 
like, especially up here. And there's like 1,120 plants. That should at least feed them a few times over if they harvest it all. Just saying. Like, it's growing season now. Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. There's my fucking planter group. Um, I kind of want you guys to actually, like, I guess they're going to just pick up whatever rice and then eat it. Once they stop eating the fucking raw rice and having tantrums about it, then we can actually start cooking it, you know, with fire. And then we can actually start having proper meals and shit. By the way, I'm playing RimWorld, but without mods, just DLCs. It feels so weird without mods. I could imagine it would be weird for you without, like, the mods and stuff. At least for you, you've still got the DLCs that can add something to it. But, um, yeah, I can't imagine, because, like, you wouldn't have coffee or anything for your colonists, would you? Because that's a big, big, like, cultural thing in your colony, isn't it? It's just everybody drinks coffee and stuff. By the way, I actually had a coffee earlier. I had a coffee that I had a nap. It worked very well. Because, um... I was kind of like stressed out about how my colony would go earlier today and I'm like I'm not gonna sleep I already know that so I just didn't didn't stress and then it got to like night time and I was just cranky and I'm like I should probably try to have a nap and it worked I woke up a lot lot happier so that was great um and we have food source the biggest problem I had was we were in like the thick of winter we had no food source and so far, so far the game has tried to throw at me. We have had a high psychic drone for the females, basically ripped through the entire colony. Everybody was starving. We had 182 mental breaks. We had a raid um, in that playthrough. Almost one third of my colony died, including legacy characters. Like nine of my legacy characters died. Then I tried again and it gave me, immediately off the bat, it gave me a mech raid, uh, which I said no to. Then it gave me a warg raid, which I accepted for food. Then we got, um, we it tried to give me a cold snap to wipe out my crops. I said no, because I'm like, I need them to have food source. Um, so I tried again and I, I can't remember what we got instead of that. But um, it's been like one thing after another. This Rimworld is actively trying to wipe out my colony at this size. Hey, get a drink, hold on. I have this huge field of coffee. A small patch of rice. Small patch of rice, just in case I run out of human jerky. Yeah, you and your human jerky. I actually had a thing up last week that uh, human meat, or the week before, or whatever, that uh, cannibalism wasn't an option here. And uh, I had a couple of people specifically cheering for cannibalism because, like I said, Gerbil died. And um, my colonists made the rounds of feeding him to everybody. Not the best spot to do that. Shit. Ah, uh, Clear is in the area. I actually have to make sure that Clear doesn't shoot because she's a fucking good shot. She will kill. Um, I also had like one where like Clear and some other people died. It got really confusing to tell who the fuck was alive, but we have only had three people die so far. We had um, Gerbil, Gad, and Black die. That's been it. It's not too bad, but we did also cull over half the animals. It's like maybe 300 odd animals out of like, we got 200 left. So that was a big cull. But everybody got fed, so it was better than nothing. Uh, where's Chet in here? You're like right at the back. Hey, Cap'n. How you doing? I hope everything's going well with you. I know you're probably lurking. Uh, let's rescue Chet. Put him up in hospital. And we've got two people still in hospital, I think. We also did get Tyran into the colony as well for Tyrantha. I haven't had a chance to let him know that that's all good. But uh, how are my prisoners going? These two are my colonists. They just... They, they found themselves back in prison for, like, various things. I found that it got to a point where I was low on medicine as well as health stuff. And with the starvation and other factors, I could not risk adding medical problems to the people. So I ended up opting to just um, arrest a lot of people that were, like, close to starvation and stuff instead of beating the shit out of them. 
and putting them in hospital and stuff. The other thing too I've got a problem with is my power situation. I've got a couple of geothermals around the base, but, and I am making some more wind turbines. I don't want them to be daisy chained though. I do want a power source connected here, but I don't really want to run straight line wires through there. I could, but I feel like that would be a bit of a waste, you know. I go low data. Uh, good gut, Tyran. No worries, Grim. I'll catch you next time. It was great to catch up with you. Um, I will see you around. Good luck with the coffee colony as well. And hopefully you can play with mods again soon. Turbo plan has died from rotting. Where? Oh, in here. No, that's fine. That This area can rot out because I never really got this off the ground. But that's fine. Now, I would like to get rid of this and this bit here because I want them to move it over. Ideally, I want it to move over a little bit more, but we'll make do with what we got. They've almost planted out all the chocolate. I got them to stop planting this because this is a huge area. They're definitely... What I'll do... I will grab the big outdoor grow areas and I'll just see if I can get them... Oh, I grabbed an, a little area. I'll just ask them to stop sowing these for now because these are huge areas and I want them to have a chance to actually harvest the other areas right now. I need this to get harvested. So what I basically want them to do is to walk out here and have a harvest and then after we've got like one or two really big areas harvested then I'll get them to like go back to like replant the area and stuff right. But for right now I need them to actually harvest it instead of going around and like adding more plants because they're doing that. They're doing great but I need them to do like this. I have like 40 odd people that can do this and I don't know where they are in my base but they're not doing it right now. So my guess is that they're in the grow rooms like messing with that. Like this is great like replant this for sure so in case of a cold snap we are still good but um, I really do need somebody to actually be out here like cutting and stuff. There's Tyrone. There he is. No, a paramedic actually. Hold on. Uh, Orkery should be fine as long as she's not in a grow room. And she's in a bedroom, that's fine. Instead of all the beds on fire. Alright, how are we going for wildlife? There's more alpacas and stuff that I can take out. Basically, any animals that are currently walking in here, I want gone. Like, for food purposes. And I also want to take out a shape in here. So I've been meaning to get onto this area for a while. I've been kind of like coming and going kind of monitoring stuff here and there and I haven't quite got to this. So these can go all the way up to putting the pods and stuff on it. I'm not going to count the pods because they only go on occasionally. So it's 13 to the wall from that. So out by one bit to there. I want whatever wall to be like here essentially which kind of does not quite work but the reason why I want it that far out is if we have like a prison outbreak or anything like that happen we've had multiple times where bottlenecking in a short area is a goddamn issue whereas I can barricade a whole bunch of shooters along either side and they can't go anywhere so what I kind of want to do is I wouldn't mind adding like another circle in here just to the side. I think that that wouldn't be too bad. It would be a lot further out. <clears throat> if my voice would just fucking stay with me. I had laryngitis like pretty recently. And my voice is still kind of like, I don't know about that kind of behavior at me. So yeah, uh, I'm dealing with it like struggling at some days. But that's, that's a general thing anyway. I talk so much. It does sometimes go. So that's the thing that happens. Uh, kangaroos in a shoot frenzy. All right. I don't have to worry about any of that. So what I kind of want to do is I want to get rid of this section here. And that's going to mean I'm going to have to leave. I kind of want to leave like maybe a pillar about here. Like there kind of thing. Because what happens is when you dig this out... Uh, it's going to need something to support a certain amount of it. I'm going to leave like the one on like the edge there. Because that's not too huge of an issue. That one would probably be better actually. Let's 
give me this. Yeah, cancel that. I don't know what I was clicked on before. Give me mining. So I wouldn't mind that corner going and like having it further out. This here isn't great either, but it's not really super huge in my way. I don't know what kind of a roof situation there is. There's a bit of a roof. So if I was to take out this area and take it towards the back of itself, I would say I could probably get away with like this. I want to be able to put down a pillar in these locations, like a solid pillar that's a very obvious alternative color to anything I've got in my base so that when I'm flying around looking at shit, I'm like, oh, that's supporting a fucking mountain. Let's not remove that, you know? Shit like that, generally speaking. Now, I do want this area to be gone too. And I think I'm going to have to see how we go with like the size of the back area here. But this line here is still here. I don't know if that would be enough to support this whole area, but I think it would be quite enough. I uh, Yeah, all right. Get rid of like that. It would be like supported on that and that. I think that might be enough. If I leave one of the supports here somewhere, that could be enough too. I want these gone, not for the limestone, but just out of this area. So this is, it's, I always get breaks here. Like, yes, this is currently our prison. But when this is our prison too, this is the side that has the break because it's more problematic for people to get out. I also have some level of electricity coming in finally. Like, fucking God forbid, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that's turned off. I was going to say, I'm like, I'm pretty sure this thing's turned off. Because if it was on, it wouldn't be happening at all. Um, That should also have, like, disappeared by now. It's not light level. It shouldn't be grown at all. I had this open for a bit. Also, that reminds me, this is open. So, the only problem I had here is I got rid of some of the physical design. But that should be fine. I think that's about where it goes. There's one here that's missing, Insulting Spree Barada. I feel like maybe there was missing. Is that right? Something ain't right in this spot here, because that looks that looks right, I'm pretty sure. Hold on. It goes out and then it immediately starts going down. So yeah, something ain't right in this spot. Be insulting. Just anyone. Anybody in the area. I reckon this is supposed to have one going up or down. I can't imagine it going down, but I know... I'll have a look at it once it's built. There's, um... When I construct stuff, I think what it is is over here is wrong. When I constructed this, there was a certain amount of limestone pillars and stuff that I couldn't build around and I had to just make do while I was building it. I think this one has to go... And this one. These were temporary just to close it in. I think that will make the shape a lot better. Everything else should be fine. And then this will be... Well, this should be an indoor storage room. I should end up requiring this much spare storage. Like, I've only got that much spare storage for food at the moment. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I haven't had my food and buildings and stuff arranged like this. I have had this before inside but not outside I also don't have enough wood to really make these but now that I'm making now I have that much limestone maybe we make some limestone chairs yeah I don't have the spare limestone I want to make them out of plasteel to be honest but I can't get my hands on enough plasteel I'm gonna set it up again I know that for a while we had some set up in here and then I made a bunch of silver stuff and then we got attacked because, you know, overall wealth. I'll deal with Marjot's thing in a second. Uh, there needs to be one more chair up here. The poker tables could definitely do with chairs. I could probably legitimately make those some limestone, to be honest. I'll make some of these plasteel. We'll get more chairs eventually. I want to buy plasteel from the traders. I also want to see what happened to that final trader. I can't make them for now, but that's fine. I'll make other stuff. Uh, 